What's up guys, uh, welcome to another Lava Locked In video. So in this video we are going to set up uh, Sool and Roadrunner as our as our HTTP server and uh, we will try to use them with Laravel locked in and we will also measure the performance between Sool and Roadrunner here. So we will be going to use this application uh, for benchmarking. This is the application that I am using to manage my channel. So and the home page actually does a lot of stuff. So it reads the directory where the videos are placed and then it tells me like how many videos I have. And then there is this data that is coming from the tables. So uh, this is kind of a pretty real application. We will try to simulate this with uh, Sool and Drone. We will see like what is the performance. So first of all, what is Laravel Octane? So Laravel Octane supercharges your application performance by serving application application using high powered application server. So these application servers are Sool and Roadrunner. So what happens is with Sool and Roadrunner, so Octane actually boosts uh, when you are using Sool and Roadrunner. So Octane boosts your application and keep it in the memory and then feed it. Whenever there is a request, then so a request is served with a very, very fast pace because all the application is already in memory. So it doesn't have to do this heavy lifting of bootstrapping your application and uh, then serving the request. So it does it automatically. And uh, so uh, to install this, we can run this uh, command Laravel locked in. So as we already know, we have Sool and Roadrunner. We need uh, these two server in our application. So Roadrunner, we can actually install it using using Composer. And uh, moreover, Laravel al already provides once you actually run this Laravel locked in. So it will ask you which server you're using. If you choose Roadrunner, it will try to install by itself. So you don't have to worry about it. So for the Sool, it comes with as a PHP module. So you can install it using PECL. So if you don't have PECL, I will include this link. You can get PECL using, you can download and set up PECL using this link for Windows, Linux, and Mac as well. And uh, one more thing before we move forward is, Sool doesn't come for Windows. So it is only available for Linux and uh, Mac. So if you are in Windows, you can use uh, Laravel Homestead. It's a development environment that you can use to uh, get you started. And uh, Homestead is based on Docker uh, Vagrin. And uh, this is Laravel Sale. This is based on Docker. So you can use either of it based on your preference. So once you have this, you can actually run this command uh, pcl install sool. So it will install sool on your desktop. So um, for mine, um, uh, it's already installed, so it will fail, obviously. Uh, but you might run into one issue uh, that is related to SSL. Uh, if you are enabling SSL for Sool, because once you run this PC and install Sool, so it will ask you a bunch of questions that you want to enable SSL or not. So if you are enabling SSL, it, uh, you might run into this issue that um, they, uh, it will fail to compile. So for that, you have to add these guys into your Bash RC file. Once you add these guys to your Bash RC file, you can do the source. I already have these guys uh, in my Bash RC, so I can show you here. Okay, so once you add these guys, you can do the source Bash RC and then to, uh, load into terminal. So after that, you can run again PSL install Sool and it will install Sool on your PHP. Once you have it installed, you can confirm it by running this command and uh, if you get something like this, it means the school is installed and enabled. Uh, if it is not, then uh, uh, let me know and I will try to help you guys as well. Okay, uh, so this is, we have school installed. Let's go ahead and install Laravel locked in now. So you, we can install Laravel locked in here using this command. So let's see if I already have it or not. Okay, uh, I see I already have it, but uh, just in case, if you don't have it, uh, it will install uh, the school and Laravel locked in here and uh, once you have Laravel locked in you can run using uh, you can install the artisan uh, octane config publish the octane config using php artisan octane install so it will ask you like you want to use router or soul so we're using soul okay uh, so we already have the, uh, have it installed in our application so let's go ahead and see this guy so okay so in the env we already have this guy here and this is the configuration that it publishes so there's a bunch of configuration that uh, you don't have to worry about right now so let's go ahead and run this whole server from using our cli to run uh, first of all i will i just want to show you uh, how to get help for this so 
uh, to get help for any command you can actually add this guy php adds and help and then this command so first of all let's see what are the command that we get uh, with php addison for octane so you can do octane install octane reload octane sort octane status and octane stop okay uh, so these are the uh, these are the thing that you can do so we are interested in octane sort so let's go ahead and check the octane, octane sort command again php artisan help octane start okay uh, so you uh, this is the server type that you want to run uh, sooner roadrunner then the host port rpc post uh, rpc port this is specifically for the roadrunner uh, to actually uh, get internal access to rpc server from your workers i guess and the number of worker you want then the task workers uh, the difference is like first rule actually so the worker execute your business logic and task worker execute your uh, blocking request and this is next request this is like uh, how many requests you want to reload all the workers refresh all the worker then this is watch command that uh, will be used to watch the file change if there is any uh, i will show you in a bit so let's go ahead and run this server octane start okay so now it's running uh, octane on 8000 here so first of all uh, let's go ahead and uh, benchmark this application using uh, worker so for that we'll go here and check this out so now we are testing this uh, performance of this level application on nginx server so after that we'll test it on uh, soul uh, let's go ahead this is a 10 second test so it is keeping is saying that uh, keep 100 connection alive and uh, use four threads let's go ahead and run this okay so this is the performance you get so we get 193 requests per second which is pretty amazing now let's go ahead and do the same test with uh, soul and see like what is the change in the performance we can do this in another window so once we run this we can see like we are getting requests on the soul server so let's wait for it to finish the test okay so you can just see like we got uh, at least like 300 time improvement or uh, maybe 250 time 250 percent improvement 585 requests per second previously it was 193 requests per second so now this is the difference between the soul and the uh, normal engineering server that you you get the performance improvement out of the box so let's go ahead and uh, now try to install the road trainer now and see what is the performance with that and uh, yeah so for the road trainer we can go here and actually install road runner here let's go ahead and do that so it will install all the road runner packages and dependencies okay and then we need to get the road runner binary here so because laravel already provide i think uh, rr.yml so we don't need that uh, okay, so now we have Roadrunner installed as well. So let's go ahead and run this application with uh, Roadrunner now. Uh, so let's go ahead and, inst and start the road runner now. Okay, so now we have road runner here as well. So let's go ahead and benchmark this performance as well. Let's duplicate this tab here. Here we can see like we are getting the requests here from the router and yeah 
etc. Oh, cool. So we got the request here. So 479 requests per second. So we are trying to simulate a real application. This is not a hello world page. So this is not a static page. We are doing a lot of actually work here. We are reading a directory. And then there are a bunch of queries that we are running uh, on database. And then we are getting, getting this. So I will just actually move it here. So with Nginx, we got 193 requests per second. Uh, with Swole, we got 585 requests per second. And then uh, with Roadrunner, we got 479 requests per second. Uh, so you can see like uh, this is the difference between um, all these guys. So, but uh, it is still way better than the Nginx server. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, so in the next video, we'll see, look at how uh, Roadrunner or Swole works internally. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers.